Good morning. I am Dr. Pradeep Harnali, consultant and cardiologist, Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. Lockdown largely has impacted cardiac patients quite a lot. In the early stages of lockdown, we saw a sudden drop in number of patients visiting with cardiac issues to the emergency department. This gave us a feeling maybe the lockdown or reduced people movement had indirectly and actually impacted the drop in cardiac emergencies. But slowly we realized that it was a false presentation. Slowly we started seeing cardiac emergency patients presenting with more complications, delayed presentation, for example, complicated MI or patients presenting with MI out of window period, which in a general way, if presented on time could have been better taken care, wherein we landed up handling more complicated patients and even including catastrophes. The general COVID precautions apply here as well. Cardiac patients in particular because of their comorbid conditions like the age group, uh, commonly cardiac issues are common among people more than uh, 50 years of age and also by virtue of their status of having diabetes and hypertension must take precautions in terms of social distancing which is very important coming in contact with uh, people who potentially could have been uh, infected with uh, COVID or uh, going outdoor into uh, public places or common places like a grocery shop or uh, could be uh, any gatherings or uh, you know crowded park etc and uh, they must always follow hand sanitization uh, precautions and also must wear a mask all the time in order to prevent uh, you know themselves as well as people around them for that matter any chest pain is an emergency because sitting at home there is no clear-cut way of differentiating a heart-related chest pain from that of other causes of chest pain. Until proved otherwise, in a particular age group, chest pain is an important symptom and has to be thoroughly evaluated uh, on a priority. During lockdown, we saw people taking minor symptoms or mild chest pain lightly, which eventually translated into major complications. The limitations could have been in terms of lack of transport facility or possibly notion that maybe emergency services won't be available and also notion that uh, there are increased risk of uh, catching COVID by visiting a hospital. All this led to uh, more complicated cardiac emergencies uh, arriving uh, uh, late to the hospital. But uh, on the contrary, uh, hospitals always uh, have uh, run 24-7 emergency uh, departments and were capable of taking care of uh, all sorts of cardiac emergencies even through the lockdown period. With the lockdown being lifted, we have resumed all of our elective services like routine coronary angiogram, all elective coronary angioplasty, pacemaker implantation like procedures. We also have resumed our regular full-time OPD services and also emergency services have always been running uh, even during the lockdown and also the ambulance services are there full-time available which can be accessed any moment for all sorts of emergency situations. Manipal Hospital Whitefield has always been in the front run as far as uh, healthcare has been concerned and in this post-COVID situation, we have taken at most care and we are prepared for uh, raising up to the situation wherein uh, we have resumed our regular OPD services, keeping in mind social distancing. We have uh, made a lot of arrangements wherein uh, the surface cleaning measures are taken for every OPD visit to the patient. After every patient coming out of the OPD chamber, the surfaces are thoroughly cleaned on one-to-one -one basis and also the OPD lobbies, lifts everywhere uh, could be the registration counters, pharmacies, everywhere there are markings which guide people uh, in, in achieving maintenance of uh, social distancing. With the cooperation of uh, our patients,
Yes, we have resumed our full-fledged OPD services and for all patients who are in remote areas or don't have a transport facility and for their routine follow-up, if it is not for any active issues, if it is for a routine follow-up, say like renewal of medications and all such concerns, they can also approach our reaches through teleconsultation and video consultation. We are available on a daily basis, uh, both for regular OPD visits as well as for video consultations. Safety starts with us and we have to spread this information to everyone. We should use hand sanitizers as frequently as possible and avoid touching the surfaces uh, when really not needed. And I urge everyone to use a mask every time whenever they are in the outdoors and any mask is sufficient for us and it helps us prevent and protect ourselves as well as people around us.